Razorback football's class of 2025 is starting to grow, now made up of two commits from Central Arkansas. Those incoming juniors laying the foundation for the class are CAC quarterback Grayson Wilson and the most recent addition as a home state hog, box site safety, Marcus Wimberly. Let's go ahead and make that 16. <laughs> it's something me and my family have kind of talked about, something I've prayed about. And I've actually kept in touch with Grayson Wilson quite a bit. And about every day, he'll, he'll text me, hey man, you're going to be a hog, right? <laughs> it's been pretty awesome, you know, building relationships and being able to see my family go throughout this process. It's just a lot of excitement. It really shows how good God is. The ability to have the opportunity to play for the hogs one day, it's just, it's just awesome. Entering the summer as an under the radar prospect, Wimberley was offered by Sam Pittman and the Razorbacks on June 17th, adding to a list of other schools like UAPB. Jim Harbaugh and the Michigan Wolverines would follow suit, offering the versatile six foot one ball hawk days later. It's pretty crazy to me how it all works sometimes. Kind of went from being below ground zero to kind of just on cloud nine for me. Instead of saving his commitment for the future, Wimberley opted to call the hogs and pledge to Arkansas on July 29th. On the way up to the hill, we were sitting there and I text Coach Woodson, hey coach, we're on our way up. And he calls me and he's like, hey man, just wanted to let you know I'm super excited to get you up there, get mom up there, because it was my mom's first time going to the hill. So I talked with them on the way up there and I was like, we're gonna do it, we're gonna make it happen. Much to the delight of Boxside head coach Caleb Perry, a former offensive lineman for the Hawks. I'm just thrilled to death about it. I mean, deep down, you know, I want him to consider everybody, but deep down in my heart, I'm like, man, just go with Arkansas. And so I, I knew with him being an in-state guy, that was probably going to be what he did. And obviously he did that. And I think that's the stress for him recruiting wise. He'll be able to enjoy the next two years, worry about getting bigger and stronger, faster, uh, being a great leader and a great teammate. The biggest part of it was it's in-state and I grew up a Hogs fan. Coach Pittman came in, he's doing a wonderful job. Coach Woodson's a great guy, great coach. The culture up there, it's, it's great. It doesn't matter what position you're playing, what grade you're in, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just gonna be a great brotherhood. They're all gonna have your back and especially the fans are gonna have your back in your state. You know, you got a whole state behind you cheering you on and behind you in whatever you do. You know, I played uh, with a guy named Tony Bua, and I really believe that Marcus Wimberly, and these are big shoes to fill, and I think that if Tony watched Marcus play, Tony Bua would love to watch Marcus Wimberly, uh, and I think Marcus is probably gonna be the next Tony Bua at Arkansas. Wimberly broke onto the scene for the Miners as a sophomore, playing both ways as a running back and a receiver. He'd help lead Boxite to a seven and three record in class 4A following the Nashville in the first round of playoffs. You know, I just kept my head down, uh, worked hard, and um, you know, I kept on sending tapes out to coaches here and there, Coach Woodson, Coach Pittman, Coach Jay Harbaugh at Michigan. I think when it comes to football, I process things a little faster than the people I'm around, you know. Everything processes fast in my mind. I can be able to slow down the game and make the right play, the right read. You know, I also think my effort is a big thing. Marcus is a, a fantastic player to coach. He's a great kid. He's a coach's kid. He does all the little things right. You know, he, he hustles between drills. But as far as his football IQ, he can play anything. And so on defense, he allows us to, we can bring him down in the box. We can bring him off the edge. We can drop him into coverages. We can man him up with people on offense. He can play quarterback, he can play wide out for us, we can use him as a running back. What he gives us because of his football IQ, he gives us so many options. He can also punt the ball really well, so he's probably gonna be the one punting for us as well. So uh, he brings a lot to the table. Coach Perry has big plans for the future hog this fall, and Wimberly is ready to embrace the spotlight as an SEC commit. Well, the plans is to get him on the field as much as possible. So, he, you know, he's going to have to do his part with nutrition, make sure he's carved up and hydrated and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, he'll have to come off the field a little bit to get water and those types of things. But we want to use him on both sides of the ball as much as possible. And even if he's not getting the ball on offense, teams still have to, the fear of him being out there and maybe running a deep route or something, teams have to respect him being on the field. And so uh, obviously having guys like that make, uh, make you look smart as a coach. And so I'm all about having players that make me look smart. 
you know, I'm just going to continue to work hard, put in the extra work, you know. Um, well, obviously we get work out here in practice and in the weight room as a team, but doing the small things outside of it, you know, even such small things as a diet, whatever that may be, is taking in some more calories, drinking some more water, just really doing the small things, because you can't do any of the big things if you can't do the small things right. So I'm just going to continue to work hard and work on the small things.